they thought he was a genius. See, and I used to say, genius, he's mean, you know, and he's strict and he's too stern. And I was such a kid and I didn't know how to even read music, much less know this guy was a genius. But what I did know when I was in that studio, I didn't know how he got what he got out of my voice, considering I never, I never took any instrument and I never, you know, really studied singing or anything. I don't know how he got it. I don't know how I learned the song just like that. I want it. I remember doing Walking in the Rain, and uh, he, he wrote it with Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilde. It was right there in the studio, and I remember sitting there with the three of them and, and just going over it, 15, 20 minutes. Then I went and, and recorded it, and they said, that's it. I said, what do you mean that's it? I gotta, you know, but I just, <clears throat> just clearing my voice good. Phil so was very good with me. He, he, and I think he did that with a lot of the lead singers, Darlene. Didn't say, I think it was the musicians that he took so much time with to make them as good as if the lead singer's voice was great and he wouldn't record you if he didn't think you had a great voice, then the music and back had to be equally great. Well, see, Darlene sang and all the other Blossoms uh, sang in here. They sang background, so did Estella Ned with the Ronettes. I, I never sang the background. And which was, I was very angry because when we first all got there and got in L.A. and everything, I was like one of the girls, me and Cher were best friends. And after that, after Phil, we had a little love affair, you know, going out together. I never sang anybody else's background, including my own. You were never in the, in the background? I, I used to look through the glass when I hear them laughing and having fun. Sure. I never sang anyone else's background. I, w I was always in, stuck in the glass because I never left Phil's side. I wasn't allowed to. And I can say that word now, you know, I couldn't say it then, but I, I wasn't allowed to go out of the studio. I could go to the ladies' room. I remember one time, her, and I thought her papa was so cute, he still is, and he went in the coffee, they had a little coffee room when you took five, and I, I went in to get some coffee. Phil stopped the whole session. I mean, I just went, wanted some coffee, and then to get a close-up of her papa. Look at him, you know, and uh, after that, I, I wasn't even, I never went out of that. If anything, I wanted. Darlene told me the story how how Sonny would go out and get me comic books. I love Betty and Veronica and Archie and, and my Pepsi Cola and my potato chips. So I never went out of the studio and I never even went into the other part to sing background anymore. How'd you feel about that? Uh, frustrated. At first I, I thought, well, maybe because Phil always gave me a reason for everything um, because of my vo He said my voice out, outstood every. I said, Phil, it's got about 20 guys in there. <laughs> and you're going to overdub that, so that's my 40 people. You mean my voice will stick out? So he said, yeah, and I, that's all he would say, and I would say, okay. What could I do? And I loved the business so much, and I knew that was the man that was making my hit records. I wasn't complaining that much. <laughs>